Hey, what's going on everybody? Joey here, back for another beautiful day within the garage. Unfortunately, it's getting hot, so there's not too many projects that I can do inside, but there's always one fun one I can do outside, and that is firing up this grill. And everybody always asks, is it as easy as it looks? And of course, yes it is. You saw with it, once you get those temps down, man, you can crank out some really good barbecue on an electric smoker. So that's what I'm gonna talk about doing today. We're gonna show through the process and make some awesome barbecue. I have a special surprise I found at my local grocery store. So first things first, you just gotta wheel it out and heat it up. So that's what we're gonna do. So for me, mine usually lives in the garage and I just wheel it out whenever I need to. So it's a very easy project and that's all it takes. Now, the same thing with electricity. Cord just hangs out on the back on a little organizer right there. And all I have to do is plug it in and then run this cord into the garage. Easy as that. And now, with electricity run to the grill, all I have to do is turn it on, fan starts, and hit the prime. While I'm waiting for a couple seconds, I should start seeing some little bit of smoke puffing up. Oh, I want to be on smoke setting. And just give it a second. Now, once you see the grill going, smoke coming out, this thing's ready to start heating. So the selection of protein we're cooking today is Wagyu beef ribs. That is right, Wagyu beef. This is one of the best beef that there is. Very tender, very succulent, very moist, good amount of fat in there. That just looks absolutely delicious. And interesting enough, as you can see, it was just from my local HEB. I mean, they are really stepping up their game with the amount of protein and quality of meats they have. That is just absolutely amazing. And with any rib, it is a very easy process. And this electric smoker is really awesome at allowing you to do different things, try them out, but you do not have to worry about the grill and the temperature and different settings and different stuff. All you do is set it and forget it. Prep's gonna be super simple as always. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Worcestershire as a binding agent. And as always, all this does is help the rub stick to the protein. You can use yellow mustard, you can use olive oil, you can use hot sauce, whatever you prefer. Me, I'm going with Worcestershire just to keep that beefy flavor. And for the rub, it's going to be super simple. Chupacabra Brisket Master. This is a really good beef rub. Very simple, salt, pepper, garlic. You can see it has a little bit of sugar in it. And it also has a couple dried uh, seasonings. Now that these ribs have had about a half an hour to sweat, I'm going to put them on the grill about 275, about two and a half hours until they are fork tender or looking good, and we need to wrap them. Two and a half hours later, I'm going to go ahead and poke these ribs to see how done they are. I'm not checking temperature. All I'm doing is poking right into the rib meat and seeing how it slides through. It should be very slide through, just like melted butter. These should be perfect. So my plan to let these set, I'm gonna go ahead and use regular butcher paper like normal and just wrap these guys up. I'm not gonna put them back in the grill. I'm, ooh, that's hot. All I'm gonna do is wrap them up so they gradually throw, slow down on the temperature but it also is gonna wick away any excess fat because with these ribs, there's gonna be a lot of fat. I wanna get that off of the ribs and have a very clean bite. And after about 30 minutes of cooling, this is what it looks like. Absolutely amazing. That just looks beautiful. And these ribs, it's just amazing. They are delicious, wow. I mean, look at that bite right there. Tender, all that fat just rendered away. Got a little bit on the ends right here. Man, 
absolutely delicious. So with that, as always, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and see you next time. And be safe, everybody.